Welcome to another uh, video. Uh, in this uh, video, we have a Sony broadcast camera, uh, model number HVR-Z1E. And the problem with it is that this connector, uh, let me see, can I get it? Uh, on the... This connector here, the firewire port, um, is uh, intermittent and when the person is uh, uploading video footage from the tape onto his computer, sometimes it's uh, not, uh, it, it, it goes offline. Or if he's recording, sometimes he's recording directly from this, um, he loses the footage. And uh, what I have to do is, um, for this, I got to get in at that, and to do that, I got to take off the sides, both sides. Get that camera back up where it belongs. To do that, I got to take off. One, start again. What I got to do is first I got to take that screw out here and there's a front cover in there that's got to come off, that clips out. And there's a cable behind there that's got to be clipped out, right? And then at the back, I got two screws in here. And then this cover here comes off and there's another cable there. And then there's two screws for this handle at the back as well. Then that handle, all that handle assembly lifts off. Um, I won't bore you with the details of that. Um, it's straightforward enough. You've seen it on a few of my uh, earlier videos. I'll get back to you when that's off. Handle is off now. And all that remains now for me to do is I want this side off. I don't have to take this side off, I don't think. It's that long ago since it took one of these apart. I can't remember. But anyway, let's go ahead with here. Take the top ones off. Something in here. Don't think I have to take that one out. But it's off. It's not going to harm it. And there's another one here. Okay. Of course, the button. Mm. Something happened there. Really damaged. Must have had a fall at some time. Let's have a look in there, see what the problem is before I put it back together as well. I think this here comes off as well. What does it? No. Um, a couple of screws on the inside in here. Uh, in here. Come on. All right. Give me a strap. And of course, we got a cable inside. Throw it here. Pick it up.
That's trash. Yeah. Pull it out. I don't even have to pull it out. Here's our uh, culprit here now. And see what is involved. Only one silver screw holding it in place. Plug it out. Now, put the camera aside. No breaking it, of course. Bits of plastic falling out of it. I did have a fall at one time. Okay, we have a little uh, screw in the bottom. Lucky, most of the screws are all the same size in these. The only four that are different are the ones that hold the handle onto the unit. Obviously, because they carry the weight. And of course, I've got one self tapper here that goes in there. I should just as I said that. Anyway. And let's see. Nice. Okay. That's it. Shall we look under the microscope and see what's going on? Look at on right there. Let's look down the port. Looking too bad in there, but I wonder is it possible to get a port for this? Can I unsolder that out of there and put a new one in? Is that possible? Let me see, can I get a, a, a price for this first? I'm going to stop the video till I find it. Okay. We have a part here on this site here. I never dealt with them before, so I don't know how good they are, but it's irrelevant anyway. Uh, the part is not available at the moment, sold out. I would be able to get it from Sony, but I no longer have an account with them. Uh, if I had an account with them, uh, it would be great. I would also be able to get technical information service manuals that I don't have. Um, the other option I have is I wonder would it be able to uh, to see uh, would I be able to get a DVI port for this and solder it onto this? I wonder is that possible? Okay, right, it's getting late now. Uh, it'll be, won't be tomorrow by the time we get back to this because uh, I got uh, other things to do. Um, I got uh, a day job. Uh, I'll get back to you as soon as I can. I successfully unsoldered the uh, DVI connector off this ribbon cable without melting any of the plastic. You can see. I'll see can I find an equivalent of that somewhere. Where? I don't know. Um, I would imagine. Uh, let's see, can I see it out in this? Hard to see. looks okay to me but I've had this so many times and replacing that uh, this assembly here will do it but as you see it's not available I'd have to get it from Sony and you can see that they're all sprung out and um, doesn't look like there's a problem there does it could be tarnished a bit of dirt on it or something like that anyway let's see can we get a new one I searched for this online, but I could, this is the only place I could see one of them um, on eBay. You know, that this looks close enough to the port I have. Um, I have it ordered, and today is the 23rd of April, 
and sometime mid May, uh, around the 17th of May, it's going to come to me. I think it's coming from is it China? Yeah, it's from coming from China, and um, it could come before that. And if it does work, happy days. I have a few spare because um, these ports give a lot of trouble on them HVR um, type of uh, Sony's. I should have done this years ago when I used to do a whole load of them. Um, it would have saved a lot of money for customers. Um, and the uh, while the old faulty uh, connector was a bit difficult to take out uh, because the heat Dispersed, dispersed fairly quickly and um, I had to keep on adjusting the um, temperature of the soldering station not having, having it too high that it didn't melt the, the ribbon cable um, it was at the balance of the act but um, I got it around up to 350 350 degrees around that to say 375 and that seemed to work about okay to be able to undo uh, melt the solder on it so uh, I would know that for the next time what, what temperature to put it at. Right, as soon as this comes, uh, which to you it'd be in seconds to me, it's uh, just under a month. I received the port, uh, it's now the 14th of May, which wasn't far from the estimated time that I was given by the supplier. Uh, as you can see, I got two of them. But the problem is, one, it's a slight bit wider than the other. Um, these lugs that go down into the PCB uh, are a little bit too wide to fit into the uh, ribbon cable. But what I have done, I'll just get my um, uh, microscope, easier to show. As you can see, uh, they're a little bit longer as well but it, that doesn't make any difference because this piece that sticks out protrudes uh, will fit through the plastic housing of the uh, camera um, as you can see I've prepared this and you can see the holes have been uh, widened as such for a better word as you can see there I removed excess some of the PCB from this side and this and this side here. It shouldn't be a problem. I should be able to get by with this. Uh, all we have to really do now is solder it in place. It fits as you can see. Um, but uh, let me just solder it. Right, that one seems okay there. I'll mount it back in its housing and get the camera reassembled. I will show you the reset reassembly because it's only reverse of the disassembly, and uh, I'll get back to you as soon as it's all together. I have the camera uh, reassembled, uh, the port is in place and uh, I did have to however, uh, let me see, can I get this better for you? Uh, I have to cut out a little bit of the square of the plastic at this to allow that to protrude a little bit further out to get it in place. But other than that, uh, you'll see a mark on the plastic. Uh, you can easily just um, bring it level with that mark and it's quite happy and it fits. So what we have now is we got to test it. I'm going to plug this in now and see what happens. Uh, nice and snug. I 
I can hear the beep on VCR now it won't okay we get up our Sony Vegas uh, uh, video editing system up okay right let's see what we get here Port media no sorry wrong one should be capture so it is hdv okay right as you can see we are getting an echo I've, I've turned off the speakers and uh, it's working okay I'm shaking the cable now and it's okay all right uh, we have the count as a fixed end a little bit of fiddling around uh, in at the end of the day to get the uh, uh, port in but I wouldn't say it was uh, over the top um, uh, for the first time uh, the next time I do one of these I know I have the uh, connectors and I know what I have to do so I won't be having to think about what I need to do um, I hope that helps someone out there uh, that has to repair these because these items these boards uh, flexible pcbs are getting very uh, um there's not much supply of them as a matter of fact some of the cables for this uh, uh, camera are no longer available so if you do damage them um, damage any of the connectors on them um you're in trouble uh, you're not going to be able to replace them unless you can find connectors for the ends of the cables which uh, good luck to you um, it's not like uh, mobile phones you might be able to get uh, plenty of scrap boards it's not the case with these uh, uh, professional cameras these are very very expensive even secondhand faulty okay uh, I'll do there. so right um, well that's it for now um, hope that helps someone out there uh, thanks for watching